Welcome to Tech Brothers with Ahmed. Today we are going to look into scenario. We are getting the source records from a flat file and we need to look up against SQL Server table. We know that by default lookup transformation behave as a case sensitive when we match the records. Can we make the lookup transformation to work as case insensitive when match the source records to the destination? Will it be good practice? What other options we have to perform case insensitive match? Now here we are going to learn how to read the data from a flat file in SSIS package. We are going to learn how to perform lookup with full cache and C limitations and how to perform a lookup with no cache and a partial cache and see it, if it work as a case sensitive or case insensitive. And we are going to find the solution to perform case insensitive match with the full lookup mode as well. Now let's uh, take a look on the file. We have this file called sales 2015.5.15 and we have a record with the columns customer name customer region and sale amount so we have a record amir and uh, it has a region uh, as asia and uh, some sale amount and then uh, we have a record m raza and the region is as as well and uh, the sale amount is 500 so we are going to map uh, or uh, we are going to look up uh, on those two columns customer name and region with the lookup table and get the customer id so on the SQL side, what we have, we have table destination where we want to load the records from the source and we want to load as a customer ID and sale amount. We will be extracting the customer ID from the lookup table by using a customer name and region. Now in the lookup table, what we have, we have a customer ID, customer name, street address, city, state and region. So these two columns we will be using from the source and here in the lookup we will map on customer name and region and get the customer id next what we are doing here we are inserting some record so let's create the tables first this is a lookup table let's insert some records in the lookup table run it and now if we take a look at what we have in the lookup table i have some extra columns but i'm only selecting the required let's select everything from this table first And th these many records it has and different columns, but we are concerned about customer ID, customer name and region. All other columns, we are not making use of them in this demo. And here, this, this, that's the table we want to load from the file. And these many columns we will select in from the lookup when we do the lookup customer ID, customer name and region. Now let's go to SSDT, SQL Server Data Tools or SSIS, uh, in an old SSIS uh, such as 2005 and 2008, you will be using the bids and create a new SSIS package by right click on an SSIS packages and new SSIS package tab. So as we are reading uh, the data from a flat file, we will be using a data flow task. Inside the data flow task, we will be using a source called flat file source and let's make a connection to the flat file source browse and make a connection and then we go to columns and take a look everything come in correct i have comma delimited file so it was uh, by default taken care go to advanced and here we can change the data type for customer name wildcard 50 is fine for customer region it is string but we want to have only two characters so i change that one Sale amount is coming as a string, but we are going to convert that to the DTI4 that sign integer. Now this looks just fine. Hit OK. Retain null values from the source as null values in the data flow. That means if we are getting some blank values in the source and we want them, we want to treat them as null. You have to check this box. Go to columns and then take a look. Everything is coming correct. Hit OK. Next part, we need to select the lookup and use it. So we will be using lookup here. Now connect it. Open it. We will be using a lookup as full cache mode right now. And we will be using a 
redirect rows to no match output. So if the records are not matching, we will redirect them to the no match output. And if they will match, they will be going to the match output. In the connection manager, we'll make in a new connection. And as we have already connection available for test database, we can use that one. Hit OK. Here, I don't recommend writing actually uh, selecting uh, the table from the drop down i always recommend to write your sql query and select the columns you need so in our case we need these three columns we have query already ready so we are going to paste that one here and now go to columns and we are mapping on customer name to customer name customer region to region and we need to select the customer id so we selected that part by clicking it here and uh, that's it now there are two outputs uh, this lookup is giving us uh, one is the match the second one is no match and there is a red one that's uh, error out so in case error happen we can use that output as well now let's uh, get the destination or lady b destination and make a connection to the sql server table here we will be selecting a lookup match output as we want to insert the matching records in the table so double click and go to the we have the connection manager already set to the test database and that's where our destination table is hit ok and here we will be selecting the table so we have customer destination table go to mapping and the customer id is already mapped and the sale amount we have to do it by ourselves why we are doing it because on the destination we have sales amount and on the source we have sale amount so column names are different if it would be same name you could just they will be automatically mapped but if they are not you can go ahead and map manually so it is very common scenarios where we map those columns often manually hit ok on this side I want to use multicast as a dummy or just a test purpose and map the no match output by doing it what I want to show you how many records are going to be uh, written or loaded to the destination and how many records will be redirected so I'm going to add the data viewer on both sides and we will see the data live when the data will be read right now we have two records and we can see that Amir and Amraza and Asia is the, our region so let's see if uh, these records are in the lookup table so if i select the query so we see that amir and raza and they are coming with asia so lookup has those records and uh, we can get the id one and two from, from them from the lookup and we can load into the customer destination run the package The package is running so if you see that the both the records are coming towards uh, lookup match output data viewer so they are matching with the lookup records or reference data and they are written to the oladb destination run the sql statement take a look what we have so we have ids and then we got the amount and they are inserted to the customer destination let's uh, do one more testing now we go back and just instead of uh, this uh, small a we put capital a still the name is amir but we have two capital a's and if you go back on the sql side and we can see that uh, the name amir first letter is capital and all other are lower cases and now we run the ssis package and see the behavior start this one and now we see one record is uh, gone towards uh, lookup match output that's Amraza because that's exact match and uh, the case sensitive it, it is exactly the same way saved in the SQL table and we are using a lookup so that's why it is matching other way we have a a a capital a capital Amir that's coming from the source that is going to do no match because lookup is behaving as case sensitive so if you have records coming from a source they are in different cases layer capital or small and you have a record saved in the SQL database in a, uh, or any other database as different cases they will not match even the data is same so 
One thing we learn from here, lookup is a case sensitive. How to handle this situation? As we have used the lookup in full cache, what it does, it take all of those records and put into the memory and then um, we use that one for matching records or non-matching and give us the output. If uh, we'll use a partial cache, what it happen, it will take that input record coming from the source, go to the database and find the matching record. If it will find the matching record, it is going to bring that record to the memory and save it and uh, it will keep it there and uh, it will use for the next incoming source records. And when if it would not find uh, next matching record in the memory it is going to go back uh, to the table and try to find it and if it will find it it will bring it and then save into memory and that's how partial cache work so you see what is happening here each time the record is going to the sql table if the record is not already saved or in the memory so it will do the lookup with the uh, uh, actually it will uh, run the query against the database so now let's change to the partial cache and see what behavior uh, lookup will uh, do or perform when we set the lookup to partial cache will it work as a uh, case sensitive or will it work as case insensitive now let's go back here run our query uh, sorry SSIS package and we see that the lookup match output is bringing the both the records and the uh, even we have a a m i r that's two a's are capital and in the database let me stop the package and in the database we have still amir as a capital and rest of them small so when you change your lookup mode from full to the partial it is going to work as case insensitive let's make one more changes and if we will you no know cache in the no cache what happen each record will be going whatever the record you will get it will go and query the sql table and the query will be running on sql side so what is happening if well, the last very last row will be saved in the memory if uh, the next row will be able to find the matching record with the memory fine otherwise the row will go back to the um, SQL table and query there on the SQL side. So in the partial it keep building uh, with the records but in the no cache it keep only one record in the memory but rest of that it will go back to the uh, SQL server to query and find out the matching record. Now with the partial cache and no cache let's uh, see in the partial cache we figure it out already it work as the case insensitive because it is querying a database and matching on the database side now we go on the no cache and take a look this is and here what we see this time also lookup match output is returning us two records that means uh, it did uh, match all of the records and it did it did ignore the cases so lookup is behaving as case insensitive why this is happening one thing now each and every query is going to run against the sql server and whatever the correlation is set on the sql side that's what it is behaving right now if you go on the database side take a properties and then here you will see SQL underscore Latin one journal underscore CPI and here CI case insensitive. So our database is with the correlation case insensitive. That's why our partial and no cache is working as case insensitive. When it query it compare the records on the on the database and then that's how it when it make a comparison and we have case insensitive comparison and the correlation is set to case insensitive it is going to return us uh, with the, re, without the case uh, letters even if they are small or capital it's going to return us same uh, result as long as the 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 value exactly matches now one thing we can do that one so let's cancel this out we learn uh, the lookup uh, in the full cache get all the records in the memory and then do the lookup that's really fast but with the partial and no cache the record has to go to the sql server side and then query that and it is kind of slow processor in case of millions of records this can be very lengthy processor and 
can take hours but with full cache as records will be put in memory first it will be fast process and then comparison is done now let me do two more experiments so we see that if our database is set to case insensitive it is working as a case insensitive for partial and no cache if i will set the database as case sensitive what happened then now go to properties go to the file let me options and here let's try to find out so we are looking for the latin but we are looking for case sensitive now if i've changed this one now our database is a case sensitive and let's see if we run this ssis package what exactly will happen this is taking a little long and f the final step will be we will set back our uh, database to the okay it is saying database could not be exclusively locked to perform the operation because uh, cannot set this one there there are statements those are running on this one so that's the reason uh, okay so how about we disconnect everything disconnect all the queries and then go back and now try and let's see if that will work case sensitive okay now if we go back and take a look on the query sorry the database options or it is set to case sensitive instead of case insensitive let's go back to the ssis package run our ssis package and see now hold on one second let's go back we are in full cache we know that uh, in this case uh, okay it is thrown as er error let's uh, take one more thing test our connection connection is successful and uh, what is happening here connection query invalid column name customer id why first of all see our now as we are using case sensitive our column names are, are also playing role because the cases for the customer uh, customer id is not correct so we have to go back fix our query so here as we have a lookup customer here we have we have to find so if you see id i is capital that was the reason it was failing so now we have to take care everything as it is so we have to have this time connected go to the test i know this video is a little long but there is a lot of stuff to learn about and this good idea so copy go back and uh, we didn't all good now in the full cache let's see how it behave and here you have to go back and refresh it because also here the customer id is chained let's see customer name customer region amount changes delete unmapped we don't need those columns and just i'm going to go ahead and customer id here i have customer name region this is uh, what come in and now in the lookup side what i have destination we have customer id and then we have a customer name but as we have changed the columns in the lookup we have to get those column again so did this one has to be reselected as this name was changed so now we are good go back here mapping and customer id now we are good okay now we will do the same experiment as our database is set to the case sensitive for the full cache i think it should be work as it is it should bring everything in the memory now it brought everything in the memory and then it is comparing one is matching because in the database you have a a um, a, a, sm a capital a small mir and then on the source you have two capital a's in the front so one is matching one is not matching so it's ignoring really on database um, side 
So it's not uh, even uh, looking on the database side, what it, whatever it is case sensitive or not. It is the uh, mapping inside the lookup uh, and memory and uh, using whatever the default uh, settings, excuse me, are for lookup. But now if we go back on the partial, this should uh, remember when we said to the partial last time it was uh, working as case insensitive because the database was uh, set as a case in insensitive now we have set the database to case sensitive let's see what happened as the queries uh, or data will be going to the sql server and here what we see lookup match output uh, so we have a armor here and then uh, it is saying lookup uh, match output uh, so it is given us uh, the both records on the so let me see it is giving us both records on the lookup match even we have set the uh, database is case sensitive but by using the partial it is ignoring the data so if i show you here so we have amir here that's a is capital and a is small and then data coming in the source a, the both is r um capital so if these this query is going to the sql server and uh, the correlation is set to the case sensitive it should uh, uh, in a way I, I that's what my thought it should uh, not match this record uh, with that uh, re record what's uh, existing in the lookup table and should it be going to the no match so let's in the partial still it work as an in case insensitive even we have a um, database correlation as case sensitive now let me show you this one here if i will say select amir and union and select amir just to prove you the database is set to the case sensitive if i will union or um, both of them what should happen if the records are exact same there should be one record and if the records are different then we should get two results and you can see that the, the database is returning us two results but uh, sorry uh, here I, I made a mistake here so right now they are exact same spellings and we see that they, they both are treated as a different record because the database is set to case sensitive and that's why the union is returning to if I will have them exact same the union will return me only one record so if we have different cases they are returning two records it means the database is set correctly to the case sensitive but even we have done that one what the lookup is doing when we have set partial cache it is behaving as a case insensitive let's go and do that with the no cache hit ok run it and this time let's see if it is working as case insensitive or case sensitive so you can see that even the database setting is case sensitive now when we use the, the lookup with the no cache it worked as case insensitive so it doesn't matter the type uh, the correlation of the database as long as you will use a partial cache or no cache the records will be uh, compared by using case insensitivity and return you matching records if they match with the exact values not with the cases so that's what we learned from here the last part i want to say this is very expensive process sending the records to the uh, database and then getting the um, matching values so this is really a expensive process even partial cache or no cache so full cache works the best you have millions of records let's say 5 million 10 million and you have 54 or 56 or whatever gb of ram and uh, then why not uh, to just put those uh, um, 5 million records in in the in the memory and do it quickly processing instead of you making uh, calls to the database and sending the record uh, one after one to the database so use the full cache in that way we will learn uh, uh, and I will show you the scenarios uh, more detail how many calls it will make uh, what exactly happen when we use full cache no cache or partial cache but uh, as of now what we learn in full cache it will work as uh, case sensitive in a partial cache and no cache it will work as a case insensitive and uh, it doesn't matter 
whatever the correlation you have on the database. The last thing I would like to say, I will use the full cache, but I will come up with different solution. So here, let's say if I'm comparing on the customer name and region code, I will use drive column and then convert the values. So I'm going to use the both columns here, customer name and customer region. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to use upper. Here I will use upper. And then also I will change upper and upper on both sides. I'm creating new ones so I can call it DER. And then we will call it customer name. I have no idea how much time this video is going to take, but this is, um, I don't know. If you are interested, watch it. If you are not interested, I can't say anything. So now we have converted our values from the source as upper. One more thing we want to convert that one to the DT string, DT string, str, comma 50. Our correlation is 1252. Let's convert then. And here I want to convert this value to the only two characters because this is only two characters. Copy one, paste it here. So we are casting our values from n war chart to the war chart two and that's all now we are good one more thing here on the lookup side as we had just used queries as it is i will use upper here as well so on both sides we'll have exact same cases customer name and then i will have upper for. So these are the function I'm using in SQL and in drive column to convert my cases to the upper cases region Lock, Preview that everything's coming as upper and when the things will be coming as upper from the upper cases from the query uh, so from the source file and from the lookup There is no issue with the case sensitivity. So they will be matched Exactly if the values are matching they will be matched. So let's run this one and we are in the full cache fine run the package now the both records should be going to the matching even in the uh, source we have a a capital a capital a m i r and then in the lookup we have small so we have a capital but the second a is small but as we have converted the values let me show you as we have converted the values here to the upper so everything is coming as upper from the source and then hold on one second stop the package and then also in the lookup let's take these values as well so we want to if we want to see the values we can select these columns so here we can select uh, these columns are all automatically co come in so we can select the value here take a look on them and add all of them and if we run this one now we will be see all the records from the source and destination are in the same case as we have converted them so this is how you will see if you can see that this Amir is converted to Amir and this is Amraza this is how it is converted from source and then uh, when they go to the lookup uh, match sorry uh, what happened they are going to look up no match <laughs> that should not be case at all because we have used upper here full cache redirect rows to the oh okay yes because we have changed them we have added the drive column but we have not done the mapping here so we have to use the converted columns so now we will remove these ones and use the columns that we have converted hmm. long video i don't like that part so now these are the column we have converted and created and uh, we have made them upper so these ones we will be using instead of the original ones so it okay now we should be good all the records should be coming in the matching even we are using full cache so you can see that this is coming from the input we close this one look up match records and you see amir and uh, amraza they are coming from source but they here they are converted to 
capital and these are coming from your lookup and they are exactly the same because we have converted them to the capital or upper cases by using the SQL query. So best case, I will say don't go for it. Uh, using a start using a no cache or partial cache if you are um, in the in in, in this uh, requirement where you have uh, data coming as case sensitive or insensitive and there's some are smaller capital and you want and uh, i will recommend go to the full cache and use uh, the technique like let's say use the drive column to convert your input columns to the upper and then use the sql query and convert the, your uh, reference data to your per cases as well and then just match them that's the best way don't uh, just to avoid this uh, situation don't you start using partial cache or no cache that can be very expensive process so thanks very much for watching this video i am really sorry making this video long but i want to take time and uh, show you each step so hopefully this will help